Chicken Hatchery Technology Today's automated hatcheries can produce up to 1.5 million chicks every week in four equal hatches. To keep up with demand, production will need to grow up and will witness a transition to large industrial complexes or super hatcheries where up to 6 million day-old chicks are born every week in six normal hatches of a million chicks each. It takes a great effort to ensure that tiny yellow balls of chirping fluff emerge from their shells as healthy chicks ready to be grown on a broiler farm. Keep watching to know more about chicken hatchery technology. When eggs are delivered from the hatching egg farm, they are placed in incubators where they are retained warm and gently flipped at regular intervals. Around the 21st day, the eggs hatch. The hatchers or incubators are then open to show thousands of chicks peck their way out of their shells. The remaining yolk sac, which nourished the growing chick throughout incubation, has now been absorbed into the chick's body and will supply ample nutrition for the first 72 hours of life. Let's be clear, fertilized eggs are not the same as the ones you buy at the supermarket. The eggs at the grocery store are unfertilized and come from chickens reared exclusively to lay eggs for human use. Broiler hatching eggs are fertilized eggs that hatch into chicks bred for meat production, and they are naturally fertilized by the male mounting the female. Chicks can be vaccinated in the hatchery to protect them from major poultry illnesses, much as we are immunized as newborns against common human diseases. The chicks must be kept warm and insulated from drafts while being prepared for shipment. They are carefully placed in clean, disinfected boxes that are free of rough edges that may harm them. They are ready for the trip after they are in the box and on the clean, climate-controlled transport vehicle to their new home, a barn where they will be reared for about 35 days until they are ready for market as broiler chickens. Even before the chicks hatch from the fertilized eggs at the hatchery, chicken breeders are busy setting up their barns for fresh flocks. The whole barn, including all equipment, has been cleaned and prepared for the arrival of the new chicks, including installing a fresh layer of soft, clean bedding. Everything must be in place for the new arrivals, as they will need much attention. When the chicks arrive, the containers are gently flipped over, below knee height, and the chicks immediately begin exploring their new surroundings, discovering where the feed and nipple drinkers are. Temperatures are tested every day over the first two weeks to ensure that these little birds get enough heat to be comfortable and grow. Farmers will continue to stroll through the barn multiple times a day to monitor the bird's health, check water and feed lines, and guarantee the automated computerized equipment is working correctly even though the chickens are older and more mature. The birds that farmers have worked hard to maintain healthy and safe will be taken from the barn and transported to the processing factory where they will be mercifully slaughtered, cleaned, and packed for food. Farmers, catchers, and processors collaborate to ensure that the chickens are as comfortable as possible. The barn lights have been lowered to let the chickens calm. The crew of professional catchers enters the barn and moves about with caution, lifting the hens by their legs and placing them in boxes. The degree of detail is shockingly minute, even down to the catcher's clothing. Strangers frighten chickens, especially if they are dressed in light-colored clothing. Catchers wear dark clothing to keep the birds from getting flighty and harming themselves. This makes us move forward to what happens with these chickens in the factory. The first stage in the factory is to stun birds. This renders them senseless and incapable of feeling pain before being murdered. Electric and gas stunning are the two most popular ways of stunning. Both procedures are humane and have been authorized by international animal welfare standards. The chickens are subjected to an electrical charge in the first approach which results in losing consciousness. Gas stunning involves placing the birds in a chamber that gradually introduces carbon dioxide or a combination of other gases, causing the birds to lose consciousness. The remainder of the procedure is the same in both circumstances. With the birds no longer feeling pain, 
an automatic knife is used to sever the corroded artery and jugular vein. Following slaughter, the feathers of the birds are removed. This is expected to prepare the bird for treatment. This is done by immersing the chicken in hot water for a few minutes to loosen the feathers. A picker machine with hundreds of small rubber fingers that involve extracting the feathers is used to remove them. After the organs have been removed, the carcasses are washed and examined. Water and an organic rinse may also be applied to each bird as an additional strategy to decrease bacteria. Any chemical use for this purpose is strictly regulated by the USDA and has been certified for use in food production. According to research, the use of these rinses does not endanger human health. Rather, it improves the wholesomeness of completed products. Before this procedure, which includes freezing the birds to keep them fresh and clean, firm quality assurance and food safety professionals verify them for quality, food safety, and wholesomeness. Each bird that enters the chilling process adheres to stringent regulatory and commercial requirements. So, have you seen this process before? Or have you worked at a chicken hatchery factory before? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.